So we're going to be continuing here with conditional statements. So we're going to continue with conditionals here. So we've got our conditional statements. I'll go ahead and write it as conditional statements. That's the more proper way to place it. So on the first, the previous page, we did the converse and the inverse. Now we're going to write the contrapositive. So the statement here that you're using says, if I laugh at Coach Stoughton's dumb jokes, then I will get extra credit. How appropriate, right? I always pick the best sentences. So we're looking at this, and you got to understand what the contrapositive is. The contrapositive is the converse of the inverse. So we're going to converse the inverse. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to actually write it in two steps. You don't have to write it in two steps if you're good enough to figure it out, but I want everybody to figure it out. Uh, everybody to have an equal opportunity and some people don't catch on quite as quick. So before I find, so I'm going to go step by step. I'm going to find the inverse first. So the inverse would be, remember you make everything negative. If I don't laugh at coaches, I'm just going to put coach. You guys know who I am. If I don't la I laugh at coach's dumb jokes, I won't get extra credit. I'm going to kind of abbreviate it, extra credit. I want you to write it out, but I'm kind of running out of space here. So this is the inverse. This is not the contrapositive. We're just getting there. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to find the converse of the inverse, and that will be my contrapositive. So I'm going to go to the contrapositive now by finding the converse of the inverse. I already have the inverse, now I need the converse of it. So the converse of this is if I don't get extra credit, then I won't laugh at coaches' jokes. So this is your contrapositive right here. This is your answer. If I don't get extra credit, then I won't laugh at coaches' jokes. We've taken the converse of the inverse. I found the inverse first. I made it negative. If I don't laugh, then I won't get extra credit. And then I conversed it. Now you could also do the converse first and then inverse the converse. It's up to you. But the contrapositive, you flip and make negative. Flip and make negative for contrapositive. All right, so the next one we have a biconditional statement, as you can hear my son yelling about not wanting to go to bed in the background. Um, you got write a biconditional statement for the following statement. So two angles that add 180 degrees are supplementary. So I want to write a biconditional. And I'm telling you ahead of time, you can write one. Remember, the only way we know that we can write a biconditional statement is if the statement and converse are both true. So the sta statement and converse are both true, then we have a position where we can write the contrapositive. So, I mean, the biconditional. So the way we write that, the biconditional is the if and only if. So I would say two angles add to 180 if and only if they are supplementary. So two angles add to 180 degrees if, and I'm going to capitalize it so you can see, if and only if they are supplementary. That is your biconditional. It's a biconditional because it's true both ways. That's why it's called a biconditional. Remember, the statement and the converse are both true. So I can say two angles that add to 180. If two angles add to 180, then they're supplementary, and that's true. And then I could say if angles are supplementary, then it's two angles that add to 180. That's true. So that's why I can write the biconditional. Okay, so let's move on. And now let's look at the counterexample. Number five, we're going to give a counterexample. A counterexample is something, just one instance that makes a statement untrue, something you can show to prove that that statement is not true all the time, 100% of the time. And all you need to do is find one.
If you can just find one counterexample, that's enough to prove a statement's false. So this one says, if an athlete plays for the San Marcos Rattlers, okay, so if an athlete plays for the San Marcos Rattlers, then that athlete plays football. So in order to find a counterexample to this, I need to find a situation where this is not true. And here's a situation. I can find an athlete that plays for San Marcos that doesn't play football. Okay, and I know she wants to be a star, so we'll use Grace. Grace would be an example because Grace plays for the San Marcos Rattlers, but she doesn't play football. She plays basketball. Hi, Grace. So she is a counterexample. She shows that this statement is not true all the time. All you have to do is find one example. That's your counterexample. The examples I give you all the time is everybody in, in Coach Stoughton's second period class has blonde hair. All you have to do is show me one person that doesn't have blonde hair, and you've shown me a biconditional. I mean, uh, sorry, a counterexample. So let's move on to special angle pairs. Okay, so now we're in special angle pairs. We've talked about the different kinds of angle pairs. We've got linear pairs, vertical angles, uh, adjacent angles, supplementary and complementary. Those are the five special types that we've talked about. So let's look at number one. Let's keep it basic. An angle measures 68 degrees. What is its complement? Don't get complementary and supplementary mixed up. Complementary means 90 degrees. Okay. Remember you can change the C in complementary to a 9. So you got complement. Okay. Now remember, if you have an angle x the complement of that angle is going to be 90 minus x so what's our angle in this case it's 68 degrees so the complement of that angle is going to be 90 minus 68 which leaves us with 22 degrees so that's the complement of 68 that's all you have to do so along with the complementary where we have 90 degrees we also have Supplementary. An angle measures 77 degrees. What is its supplement? Well, remember with supplementary, if the angle is x, then the supplement is 180 minus x because supplementary angles add to 180. And remember, these are pairs. It's only a pair. You can't have three angles add to 180 and call them supplementary. It's only if they're pairs. Same thing for complementary, only if they're pairs. So my angle is 77. Therefore, the supplement is 180 minus 77, which is 103 degrees. And that's all you have to do for those.